Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Friday, June 15, 2012. Our top story is from the world of technology. An international research team has used brain stimulation to enhance the visual abilities of people. This was done using a process called transcranial magnetic stimulation, which we've mentioned on Brainstorm before. It's a non-invasive form of brain stimulation that consists of sending a magnetic pulse into a region of the brain. The magnetic field activates certain neurons, altering the brain's activity in a painless and temporary way. For a while, this type of brain stimulation has been considered for potential rehabilitation applications, but also for the possibility of enhancing healthy brains. To that end, the researchers conducted some experiments, targeting a region of the right cerebral hemisphere known as the frontal eye field, which helps coordinate eye movement and attention within the visual field. For the first experiment, healthy subjects attempted to see a low contrast target that appeared on a screen for 30 milliseconds. In some tests, a brief magnetic pulse hit the frontal eye field just before the target appeared. Visual sensitivity temporarily increased by 12% on average, which doesn't sound like much, but is actually quite significant, especially considering how optimized the human brain is for this function. Despite these experiments being on humans, they're still preliminary, requiring more testing of transcranial magnetic stimulation. But future applications include rehabilitation of vision-related brain damage and enhancing the vision of people with detail-oriented tasks. Next is an update from the world of chemistry. A new biofuel production process developed by Purdue University may be cost-effective for large-scale production. It's a relatively new chemical process that directly converts biomass, like switchgrass, into a liquid fuel. The biomass gets rapidly heated to 500 degrees Celsius in the presence of pressurized hydrogen after which the resulting gas mixture gets passed over catalysts that separate the oxygen from the carbon-based molecules. Now this process is quite different from most biofuel production, relying on thermochemical reactions as opposed to biological fermentation. However, this different approach may be the key to cost-effectiveness. That's because of its several advantages. It can quickly convert the mass into fuel and is expected to have a high yield to other biofuels. The major factor in cost is the hydrogen gas used in production. Unfortunately, it's most economical if using hydrogen produced from fossil fuel energy. Even though they're already planning to scale up production, research will continue in the lab to refine the process. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description. The first link is about a new series on this channel starting this summer. There's only a week left to raise funds, so definitely check it out.